Hi my crafties, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a getting crafty day. I have an Easter project for you. I'm kind of thinking spring and Easter and um, this is inspired by this box here that um, Lasagna over at Miss Dahl's Handmade Creations created for me, uh, I think it was last year. Lasagna will be linked in the description box below. So um, I hope you go over and share your crafty love with her. I think this box is so cute. So, so cute. And she put this green ribbon on here to tie it and for the, to, to represent the green leaves. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have something similar to this. So this was an SVG file that she got from Silhouette, I believe. And it's oh so cute. I'm going to put that up there. So, um... As soon as I saw it, I remembered, and I was like, oh, I gotta make that, I gotta make that, I gotta make that, and I never did. But, um, so this is the box that reminded me of hers. Um, it's a little bit larger, but just by, you know, that much. The top is just a little bit different, um, and it came with the leaves, and they show them putting them on a paper clip and I don't work well with paper clips so um, I went to paper or clothes pins I don't work well with clothes pins so I went to paper clips um, and the box ha this one has this little slit right here and it closes and then it has um, the four flaps the other two flaps down here and it goes way down there I told my husband I said so you know I'm gonna have to go buy some Easter candy <laughs> So, um, I used two different color greens. Um, oh, let me tell you first. This came from Canvas Workspace. So, Canvas Workspace is part of Brother and Brother Scan and Cut. That's how I know about it because I have a Brother Scan and Cut. But everything in Canvas Workspace is available and free to anybody who uh, registers an account with them. And even if you don't have a, an electronic cutting machine like the scanning cut um, they do for their designs not the paid ones so like they have I think it's tattered lace and they have Disney and then they have some other uh, files that they have in there that are theirs um, that you have to buy um, you buy like an activated activation card and then it gets you into those things. But anyway, the free ones are just on the main free canvas workspace and every single one of the ones that they have for free comes with a PDF. So a PDF, you, if you don't have a cutting machine, you could download to your printer and then <clears throat> fussy cut. So yeah, I know fussy cut, but you, and you can score it in your scoreboard I don't think it would be that hard. Um, and for like cutting the leaves, I'm sure if you didn't cut them exact, it would be fine. Or, you know, if you went with the ribbon, it would be another option. I did put um, trim around here for the girls. I thought that it needed something. And now I see she used pattern paper, which would have been really nice to mat this with pattern paper. It would have been really cute. The other file they had in Canvas Workspace is this cute little Easter Bunny. Now, Easter Bunny is supposed to be this direction, and he does come with eyes and nose and mouth and all that stuff. Um, and I love that his little feet fold up like a heart. Isn't it so super duper cuter? Oh my gosh, I love it. But, um, and he holds the Easter egg. You know, after you decorate the egg, he holds it. But, um... I was, I was going to do the face, and then I thought he could slip right on here, which he does, and I'm debating still whether if I'm going to adhere him down or just leave him like that. What time I just leave him like that? He fits, and it's really cute. Um, and I took a picture of it, and I showed Kathy at um, Kathy's Creative Crafts and More, and um, she was like, oh, he needs a tail, and I was like, thinking that would be the face. And I'm like, uh, so cover up his feet with a tail? And she's like, no, no, no. 
and she's like, no face, just put a cottontail. And so I went through my um, pom-poms and I put the little iridescent pom-pom on there and I think he's adorable and I love him so much. And I love them together. So um, I made blah, 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 uh, two of them for girls. So one in blue, one in white. And this is an iridescent uh, pearlized. I think it's pearl. Um, pearlized paper. And it's from Michael's Hot Buy. It's a Christmas paper pad. It was really thin. And this year they really didn't have it. And then I made two for boys. This one is considered the gold, but it's more like a brown. And then I know a little critter who likes red, so it's red. And the boys, I just wrapped some red um, baker's twine around here. I put a little bit of fabric tech around and the baker's twine. And I think they're so super duper cuter. I love my bunnies. Um, let me know what you think. Obviously, you don't have one with a face, but would you put a face on it or would you put the cottontails? I think the cottontails are adorable. I do think that matting would be really cute, and I might look in my stash and see what I have. And for, you know, I was really glad and grateful that I could use up my orange paper because I rarely use orange paper. Um, so one thing I was telling Kathy was like, oh gosh, what goes with orange? So I really didn't have any paper that really went with orange. So, um, yeah. Um, let me know if you think it needs the matted paper or not. And I will um, see you in my next video. Until then, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And God bless you and yours. Bye for now.